And for the last week, the eyes of the entire world have been on Vladimir Putin. He's not a man who is unused to the attention uh, that he is now getting. Morning in America's Paul Gerke is joining us live to give us a broader context of the Ukraine invasion and a little history on President Putin. Yeah, Adrian, we got to zoom out and look at the big picture here. For a president who constantly invokes Russian history to justify his military aggression, it's important to look at Putin's personal history to understand his ascent to power. He served for 15 years as a foreign intelligence officer for the KGB before the dissolution of the USSR in 1991, and since then has become one of the most reviled leaders in world history. Vladimir Putin was confirmed today as Russia's fifth prime minister in the past 18 months. August 1999 marks the beginning of now President Putin's reign over the Russian people. He was appointed acting prime minister by Russian Federation President Boris Yeltsin, who unexpectedly resigned soon after, making Putin acting president. Putin would go on to win the presidency, boosted by his pledge to restore Russia's prominence as a first-tier nation on the world stage. Putin's first two terms as president were marred by multiple hostage crises and attacks by domestic militants. During this time, Putin began unraveling election procedures and breaking apart Russian financial institutions and media outlets. With term limits halting his presidency, Putin again became prime minister in 2008 to his ally, President Dmitry Medvedev, eventually convincing Medvedev to extend presidential terms from four years to six. Putin again ran for president a third time in 2012. His election was met with uprisings over allegations of voting irregularities and jailed opposition leaders. In 2014, Putin began even more aggressive efforts to reunite former Soviet territory as Russian forces began annexing the Crimean Peninsula. The European Union and United States imposed sanctions on Moscow in response but did not deter Putin from later intervening in the Syrian civil war, supporting then-President Bashar al-Assad. Does he continue to wreck his country's economy uh, and continue Russia's isolation in pursuit of a uh, wrong-headed desire to uh, recreate the glories of uh, the Soviet empire? His 2018 fourth-term landslide victory places Putin in the rarefied position of having faced off with five American presidents and an entire generation of Russians. Adrian, it's a sentiment we've heard expressed a lot lately that Putin is trying to restore the former glory of the USSR. And once you start to look at his history and look at what's happening in Ukraine right now, you start to see that he sees Russia as a world power in capital letters, and he's willing to do just about anything to get them back on that stage. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.